Hello everyone. Today I am going to share stepper motor control using big microcontroller. <coughs> In this project, I am going to control direction and speed of stepper motors using big microcontroller. Uh, for this project, I have used uh, Proteus software for simulating purposes, and I have used Pic Micro C Pro for Pic compiler. Uh, in which I have written the code for PIC microcontroller and uh, <coughs> what I am doing is I am getting commands from serial port and using those commands I am controlling my servo motor direction and speed uh, in speed I am actually controlling the step angle at which angle it should move uh, how many steps it should move so first of all let me give a, a brief introduction about stepper motor Stepper motor is used in such projects where precise movement is required. <coughs> For example, if you have heard about uh, 3D printers, then in 3D printers we use stepper motors because in 3D printers we need precise movement of our injector. So in 3D printer, in order to move our injector in three axes, X, Y and Z, we use three stepper motors. <coughs> Similarly, in CNC machines, uh, for moving the axis, uh, we use stepper motors. So, stepper motors are used in such projects where we need to move at some particular angle. They are very precise, like if you want to move your uh, motor uh, at like 60 degrees, then it will move exactly to 60 degrees, not 61, not 59. So, that's why we prefer stepper motors. Uh, stepper motor works on electromagnetic phenomena. Electromagnets are present in the stepper motor and uh, when we supply voltage across them, these electromagnets got polarized and produce a magnetic field. And in order to depolarize them, what we need to do is to simply depolarize these electromagnets. Uh, these electromagnets act as a stator in stepper motors like uh, when we polarize first electromag uh, electromagnet then it attracts the stator towards it and then we depolarize this first uh, electromagnet and polarize the second one and the rotor attracts towards second electromagnet in this way we can move a stepper motor from first to last electromagnet and then we can start the process again and uh, our stepper motor keeps on moving so uh, you can read more about it uh, on the wiki page of stepper motor the link is given here uh, the link of uh, this post stepper motor control using pit microcontroller this link is given in the description of this youtube video from where you can come to this post this tutorial posted on my blog the engineering projects so once you click that link and you came to this tutorial, first thing you need to do is to download the simulation and code. Simulation and code are given in this post which you can download by clicking this button. And here's my code. I'm opening it. Second motor control using with microcontroller. And uh, here's the simulation design in Proteus software. I use Proteus Professional V7.7 and here's the simulation. Now in this simulation what we need to do is to upload the code, uh, the hex file. The code is also given in this uh, download file with the name program.txt. Uh, this code will, uh, is, uh, this code is designed in Micro C Pro for Pick compiler. You can paste this code in the project of micro C and you can compile it or you can also use this clock.hex file. <coughs> so I am extracting this clock.hex file and I am placing it on my desktop. Okay. Yes to all because I already have this file on my desktop. Now I am double clicking it and it says clock.hex and uh, I am going to desktop and I am searching liking clock and here it is clock.hex and I am clicking ok <coughs> now I am running my simulation and you can see it started running 
the motor is running in anti clockwise direction uh, this one is my stepper motor now next thing i did is i have used this virtual serial port driver using this driver using this driver i have virtually connected my two com ports com 1 and com 2 so these two com ports are virtually connected means if i send command on com 2 then it will come to com 1 and the com port of my serial port is com 1 okay now i'm starting my arduino software and simply sending command from this arduino software and uh, here i have selected com2 and i have started my serial monitor now i am again started my simulation and uh, you will get a start here start and now when i send command like i am sending a and you can see the motor has stopped moving now i am sending b and now the motor is moving with step angle 45 you can see the step angle is 45 degree 45 let me hear 45 90 135 180 225 270 315 and 0 now the motor is moving with angle of step angle of 45 degree now i'm sending it c now you can see it's moving in the opposite direction clockwise direction with a step angle of 90 degrees it's moving with 90 degree step angle Okay, now I'm sending it D. Now it's mo uh, moving in the opposite direction in anti clockwise direction with step angle 90 degrees. If I send B, then it's moving with 45 degrees in anti clockwise direction, and if I put D, then it's moving with 90 degree angle and in the anti clockwise direction. Now the final command is E. If I send it E, it's still moving in the anti-clockwise direction in within 90 degrees so that's how I have and I'm sending A to stop this motor and it has stopped moving so in this way I have controlled this uh, stepper motor uh, using quick microcontroller and uh, I have controlled the direction of this uh, stepper motor as well as the step angle I moved it at 45 degrees and I have also moved it at 90 degrees so you can uh, uh, make it move you can write the code it's a, a simple code which just moving it in two directions uh, two uh, step angles and in both directions but you can uh, design some complex code and can move it uh, quite faster like with a step angle of one degree then it will start moving faster so here I have used L297 and L298, these are basically drivers for this stepper motor. Uh, these drivers are necessary for moving the stepper motor when you design it on hardware. So you must use them in your simulation. Uh, uh, if you don't use them in simulation then still stepper motor will run fine. But uh, it's better to use them before you will need them in your hardware. So that's all for today, hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and uh, you can download it from the link given in the description of this video and you can subscribe our channel and uh, must follow our blog through email and uh, so that you get these uh, tutorials straight to your mailbox also give us a Facebook like and Google Plus. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.